Hi everybody, welcome to a, a slightly faster than normal Brexit version of um, IndyCar today on the, I think it's the 8th today, 8th of October. I haven't got my diary with me so I've no idea and you know me on dates. But anyway, today is Tuesday and it's the day after um, Angela Merkel's phone call. So it seems that um, everything that we all knew three years ago about Brexit is now finally beginning to uh, actually be told to the rest of the population. We all knew that Brexit was going to be a super disaster and they wouldn't be able to exit the EU without either trashing the Good Friday Agreement or completely disadvantaging Scotland or both. So now all the chickens have come home to roost and Boris's plans really are in tatters. His so-called deal which, let's face it, was really designed uh, to annoy everybody and please nobody and was almost guaranteed to fail right from the minute it came off his computer printer. That's now pretty much um, being used as toilet paper by Brussels and they can't see any way around it. Um, it seems that they've run out of patience with Britain and who can blame them? Britain has decided to leave the European Union without a thought for how it was going to deal with Ireland and without a thought about whether it was fair for Scotland, which didn't want it. And they're just going to try and bulldoze through and barge over the top of everybody who gets in the way, including the European Union, and then blame them for it. It's hardly the European Union's fault. They have to protect their boundaries and their borders. They have to stop people smuggling goods in on the cheap. They have to stop people from trying to enter the single market uh, illegally to smuggle goods, to smuggle people, to smuggle cash, weapons, you name it, over the border, which is supposed to be porous at the moment, but uh, which is guarded by the, U the UK at the moment and its other ports and its other uh, borders. So it's a total mess and we all knew it was going to come down to this. So the question now is, will Boris finally relinquish the, the United Kingdom's hold on Northern Ireland and say, we are going to relinquish our hold on Northern Ireland. We are not going to make it a part of um, the the, U the UK anymore. It, it's no longer going to be part of Great Britain. And because of that, it can stay in the single market. It can stay in the currency union. And all they have to do is, is basically give independence to Northern Ireland. They don't even have to actually um, have a border poll just yet. They just have to decide to cut Northern Ireland loose and tell the DUP to do one. Will they do that? I've no idea. Uh, probably not. But, well, let's let's see what happens. All, all bets are off as far as weird things happening are concerned. Anything might happen. Anyway, one thing is for sure, and that is uh, Brexit. Well, the wheels have come off the Brexit bus completely now, and it's just going nowhere. It's either going to just stop dead and eventually there'll be a general election and mass chaos as Brexit stalls um, or we're going to be turfed out uh, and that'll be that. But there's all, an almighty calamity coming uh, as the immovable object meets the um, uh, irresistible force. And when that happens, you know, Basically, there's an enormous explosion, and whatever happens after that's anyone's guess. One thing is for sure, though, whatever happens next, as probably now is not the time to be holding a referendum on independence, because all of this crap really has to settle out first. It's got so far now that if we tried to hold an independence referendum in the middle of all of this, uh, it would be interrupted. There would, it would be called off repeatedly. Um, it would be stymied at every cut and turn. It would be chaotic. Uh, and it probably wouldn't work. However, whatever happens with Brexit, we now know three things will happen. Hyper uh, inflation. We also know that there will be hyper borrowing, twice as much as is currently borrowed. There will be a doubling of the deficit, at least. And there will be hyper austerity. If you thought uh, 2008 was bad, for the, the global credit crash or the crisis in the banking industry, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. The austerity that will follow the no-deal Brexit will be far wor worse than anybody can imagine. They've already seen businesses folding, and actually the number of companies which have closed in the United Kingdom since Brexit was announced, uh, according to the figures I saw recently, was up in the hundreds of thousands. We're, we're certainly talking between two and 400,000 jobs had gone already. Uh, steel industry jobs, airline industry jobs, 
retail sector jobs, dozens and dozens of companies folding all over the place, some through natural wastage, some through Brexit related ones. The car industry pretty much on its knees now. Uh, the steel industry in Wales virtually gone now. Um, in Scotland we've managed to maintain some steel making and some aluminium smelting but only thanks to government stepping in and helping out, something which England will never do. So we're at this weird sort of threshold now. In a few days time uh, it will be decided one way or the other that Brexit uh, is, is not, we're not going to get a deal, right? And, and so Brexit is going to happen without a deal. And as soon as that is no longer in question, then all manner of things are possible. Nobody can really predict it. I wouldn't even try to predict what would happen. But what I do know is that the European Union will protect its boundary and it will protect Southern Ireland. It will protect the people in the Republic. If it really goes belly up and things get very bad, I might anticipate a, f a, you know, a flow of people from Northern Ireland into the Republic to safety, relatively speaking, because the Republic of Ireland is going to be the safer place to be. But the problem is that the European Union will actually have to erect its own boundaries, its own borders anyway, and I think the British government is hoping that's what will happen. And they can say, oh, well, it's you that put up the border. It's your fault that uh, there's troubles in Northern Ireland. It's all put down to the blame game. It could well be that the European Union will just do nothing. They'll just let Brexit happen and let Britain guddle around and try to sort the mess that it's made out. But actually, the reality is that Britain needs to get out of Northern Ireland if it wants to Brexit. If England wants to leave the European Union, then it needs to cut loose Northern Ireland, let Northern Ireland be what it wants to be. And that means just doing whatever it likes. I'll see you later. Bye bye for now.